On New Year's Day of this year, Rochelle Walensky was just a college professor in Massachusetts. You almost certainly never heard of her. You definitely didn't vote for her at any point because Walensky had never run for office. As of January 1st, her political power was precisely the same as yours and everyone else's in the supposedly self-governing republic. Rochelle Walensky had one vote out of a nation of 320 million people. And then, just a few weeks later, everything changed for her and for the rest of us. Joe Biden appointed Walensky to run the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention in Atlanta. At the time, it did not seem like a huge deal. The CDC is not a legislative body. It's a public health bureau. It was originally designed to fight malaria, and it did a good job. The CDC now gathers information about diseases and then releases guidance about those diseases to the public. That's what it does. The CDC does not make laws in this country. It's not allowed to. Under the U.S. Constitution, making laws is the exclusive role of the Congress. You vote for your senators and your congressmen, and they decide what the rules are. That's known as representative democracy. It's been our system for nearly 250 years. But apparently, it's now over. Rochelle Walensky now makes our laws. Walensky announced today that she has decided to nationalize America's rental properties, millions and millions of them from Maine to California. Tenants are no longer required to pay their rent. Property owners cannot evict them under any circumstances. Making someone pay to live on your property is now a federal crime. Try it and you can wind up in prison with hundreds of thousands of dollars in fines. At the same time, you should know, property owners will still be required to pay the banks that hold their mortgages. There is no moratorium on mortgages. Why? The banks are huge Democratic donors and they're getting the treatment that they paid for. Sandy Cortez and the squad are not calling for the banks to do their part, so they're not. It's property owners who will suffer, many of the members of the rapidly disappearing American middle class. It's hard to overstate what a momentous change this is. It means, among other things, that private property no longer exists in the United States. You thought you owned your home. Not anymore. Rochelle Walensky does. She'll decide who can live there, under what circumstances, and for how long. Is this a good idea? Of course not. It's totalitarian. But there's an even more pressing question at the center of this, a principle a principle that defines what kind of country this is and what kind of country it will be going forward. And the question is this, where did Rochelle Walensky get the power to do this, to suspend private property rights in America? And the answer is, she simply asserted the power. Walensky claims she had the authority and no one stopped her from exercising it. This morning she signed an official looking order declaring that her opinion is now the law, and so it is the law. But wait, you say, that doesn't seem very American. Shouldn't somebody vote on this? If we're going to continue to pretend this is a democracy, and you hear that on television constantly, then shouldn't our elected lawmakers make the laws? No, and they're not going to. Nancy Pelosi has refused to call a vote on the matter, and she runs the Congress. She decides. Meanwhile, most Republicans haven't said a word about it. And that means that an unelected college professor you'd never heard of six months ago is now in charge of your country.